uh, still holds me in high regard. 1993 Bowman Baseball Pack number 26. We're looking for the DJ rookie. Uh, 93 Bowman has gone up both the raw product as well as the Jeter uh, in the last few months. Jeter stuff has been pretty much on fire. I don't know if folks are, are just buying it to hoard it, put away until he makes the haul, or you know people are holding for the long term. I don't know. We shall see. Ah oh, man, sorry Jim. Next time I'll drop you a line, bud. Uh, we are opening at five o'clock. I do have a line and another pack or two a collector had told me about, so I'll keep everyone posted about that. Um, seems like the exhibit cello uh, these days is fairly popular. I think Stephen, he was just mentioning he missed uh, the chance to buy into it. I think that's what he was referring to. I don't want to misspeak, but I think so. Uh, that's coming up at five o'clock, Jim and Stephen. So 93 Bowman, we're going for the DJ, the Derek Jeter rookie. However, uh, believe it or not, the Mariano Rivera second year Bowman sells for about $100 in a PSA 10, and I've been told it's not an easy card. The reason being is it's a very big set. It's about a seven or 800 card set, 15 cards a pack, and only 24 cards per box, uh, 24 packs per box. So, um, you know, 93 Bowman, Mariano Rivera, who knew? I actually like the 1995 Topps Traded Mariano Rivera because it is his first Topps card, and 1995 Topps Traded uh, not only is it a tough to find product, it features the Carlos Beltran rookie who may make the Hall of Fame one day. And if you remember in 1995, a lot of the um, card companies uh, decreased production substantially because of the strike from the year before. Uh, and so I think that product has some legs. Hey, what's going on? Thanks for joining us. I remember when the Frank Viola rookie was a desirable one. I think I wanted the Yankees to get him back in the day. It never happened. Dougie Drabeck, I think his kid's in the majors. Saver broke, excuse me. Um, Malfunction. So I don't, uh, I don't know we'll We're not getting them from China anymore, that's the problem. For uh, Tanner, for which particular pack? Meaning, generally, Tanner, if someone wants to buy a personal pack here, like for us to open the whole pack for them, they just buy all the spots in that break. Yeah. So if there's something that you see that you'd like to maybe buy the whole pack of, but you don't see a full amount of spots uh, in that break, you can always just drop us a line and we'll, we'll list a personal pack for you if you'd like. Oh, he is, Russ? I knew he had made it. I, I It was a shame because he looked good early in his career. I didn't realize the injury set him back. We're hoping to get to meet Tanner. Uh, well, I've met him before, but we're hoping to get him uh, out here in September when he's out here for his art show in New York. Come out, check out the office and such. Maybe even do a guest break. Ooh. Yeah, we were talking about that yesterday. It's pretty cool. Okay, so that's 1993 Bowman Pack number 26. That is for you, Chris. No big hits in that one, but still a nice trip down memory lane. All right, Stephen, let me uh, get you squared up here, bud. So, Stephen, you would like probably a 52 tops bounty. Just let me know. Uh, give me the cleaner of the two. I'd probably go with Fred Hutchinson only because uh, he has a variation in the set uh, where the Tigers uh, logo is a little bit uh, not as orange and such. Uh, so I would grab this one. And if you want the other one, Stephen, you'll just let me know. <laughs> Certainly, Nick. Sounds good, Steve. Um, great. And then uh, if you could let everyone know how many spots are left in the Hall of Fame rush. Cool. Thank you. Let's see, we got any other personals? And if not, we're going to get... There we go. we got another personal coming up. Thad, the big winner of the 1979 Opeachy Wayne Gretzky rookie. 
that we pulled just the other day live on our Vintage Breaks PSA show, where you can find us every Wednesday on the PSA Facebook page. You can find that at facebook.com slash PSA card, and at 4.30 every Wednesday, you'll find the Vintage Breaks PSA show, and at 6 o'clock, you'll find the Great American Collectible Show hosted by Tom Zappola and Rico Petroselli. How cool is it that we pulled the Greffy on the PSA? Oh, it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was, no, it, was, it was impeccable timing, that's for sure. All right, great. So let me...